All right, guys, so this month we are still talking about who made us. Now, mind me, who made you? Yes, that is right. God made you. God made you and me. Now, today we're going to have an awesome game where we're going to pretend that we're going to be doing different things. All right? And I want you to stand up and do it with me, okay? So, for the first one, we're going to pretend to be airplanes. So we're going to have our arms out, just like the wings of an airplane. And we're going to fly around. Fly all around. And then we're going to stop. We're going to land the airplane. Awesome, guy. awesome job, guys. All right, so here we go. We're going to the next one. Ready? All right, guys, we're on to our next one. And our next one is going to be eating our favorite food. My favorite food is macaroni and cheese. I love macaroni and cheese. Now tell me, what is your favorite food? Oh, oh, that is awesome. That is so good. All right, so let's grab our bowls or our plates and we're gonna eat our favorite food. Here we go. I got my fork, you got your fork? Here we go. Mmm, so good. So, so good, guys. Oh, I love food. Now tell me, why do we eat food? Why, is, why do we have to eat food? Because it helps us grow and it gives us energy and food is just so good. God made food and it is all for us. All right, all right, let's go on to the next one. Here we go. All right, so now we're going to the next one, guys. And the next one is we're gonna to pretend to take a bath or take a shower, all right? So we gotta take our washcloth, we're gonna bathe, we're gonna clean ourselves, we're gonna get under that armpit, make it all clean so that we're not stinky. We're gonna wash our legs and wash our bellies. And we're gonna wash our face, take a good shower or a bath. Good job, guys. Now, tell me, why do we have to take a bath or a shower? right to be clean and to smell so good right all right guys this is awesome and thank you so much for joining me and doing all these awesome activities i'll see you guys next week okay bye up in the morning and I wiggle my toes, wiggle my toes, oh, oh. I stretch out my arms and I'm scratching my nose, scratching my nose, oh, oh. so I clap my hands, stomp my feet, because I love the way that God made me, I move my head and shake my knees, because I love the way that God made me.
time hanging up these awesome pictures of my friends. It makes me so happy to look at them. Do you like looking at pictures? I do too! Lucy looked so happy in this picture. All I had to do was say cheese, and she would start smiling and laughing. What a great day. And here's what I painted. Say cheese, Peyton. And Julia. And Mariah. When I told Mariah to say cheese, guess what I noticed? She lost the tooth. She was super excited that day. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Zoe. Ho, ho. Hanging up photos, are you? Hi, Ollie. I sure am. I have all these amazing photos of my friends that remind me how important they are to me. I love them all so much. Loving your friends is great. It's true. God loves all of them, too. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Ho, ho. Follow me through. I'm Casey, and I'm helping out at the Cupcake Food Truck. Want to see today's special? Ta-da! They're my wild watermelons. They kind of look like they have hair, don't they? <laughs> that reminds me, you came for a story. If you're ready, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three. Tell me a story! Today's true story from the Bible. Whoa! What is that? It's very hairy. Can you tell what it is? I think it's an animal? Let's zoom out. It's a bunny! Whoa! So much hair. Okay, that was fun. Let's do it again. <laughs> hmm. What kind of animal could this be? Maybe a grizzly bear? Or a horse? Let's see. It's a llama! That's awesome! Now, check out this creature. This one might be the hairiest of them all. What do you think, wild buffalo? Let's see. It's a kid! Wow! Look at all that hair! Did you know the Bible teaches that God knows how many hairs are on your head? It's true, every single one. Can you even imagine counting this person's hair? And yet God knows exactly how many hairs are on his head. He even knows if one hair falls out <laughs> onto his shirt. He knows. And do you know what that means for you? It means you are important to God. It's true. You are so important to God, no matter where you go. You're important to God when you're at the dentist. You're important to God when you're in timeout. You're important to God even when you're asleep. You're important to God when you're in the front of the line or anywhere in the line. You're important to God when you're sad or happy or mad or even silly. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? We are important to God. He made each and every one of us. Did you like that story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <laughs> oh, hey Ollie, tell me, who made you? God made me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who made you? God made me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. So there's your story. It's all true. We are important to God. He made and He loves you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, that's so awesome.
awesome. God made each of us, and we're important to Him. My friends are important to me, and they're important to God. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good. Hey, I have an idea. How about I take a picture of you with your biggest smile? Are you ready? Say cheese! Wow, you guys did great. Super job, everyone. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalm 139, 14. One more time. I am fearfully, wonderfully made. Psalm 139, 14.